Let me start by asking a question. Some of the big themes I think we played with are reinvention. I think to see the characters continuously reinvent not just what they're working on, but themselves. You can only reinvent so much before you have to decide who you are. You can be more. You want to be more. Is this what you saw 10 years ago? Some of my favorite moments from the series happened this season and, and took four years to make. The scenes where our characters feel like this family of choice, like the rocket scene. I think you have to really live with these characters for four seasons to do scenes like that. I love Joe's storyline over the course of the series. When we first meet him in the pilot, he is shamelessly using people. How the hell did IBM find out about this? I told them. This is not the same person that we saw at the beginning of the show. He has been changed by the events of this story. Don't you realize what you have now? A big relationship that holds a lot of the story together is the Clark marriage. And we see their relationship change so many different ways over the course of the four seasons. You're the same person that you always were. I love that person. Very few characters get to change as much as Donna's changed over the years. And so I think all the time about the Donna we met in the pilot. Hey! Ten years later in the story, she's an incredibly powerful, self-actualized person. Thank you all. What's your name? Cameron. When we first meet Cameron, we know she has potential, but there's everything about her character that indicates she's never going to be able to realize it. She was this damaged orphan at the beginning, and she ended the show this emotionally evolved woman. Hey. It was a pleasure working with you at Phoenix. Boz is a guy who's had an incredible journey over the life of the series. He has not only a second act, but a third and a fourth act. I really love and root for Joe and Cameron. It is always this volatile mess. Your whole thing, it attracts people, but it won't keep them around. And companies and marriages and friendships and businesses burn down just as collateral damage to these two trying to decide how they feel about each other. Don't you realize what you wrote? I feel like I've done more discoveries on who I am as a person through the process of doing this show than I have of what tech is doing for the world. This? right now is all there is. Welcome to the future, Joe McMillan. Being able to tell a story like this is a true privilege. Present. Future. What does that mean? And to be able to do it with such esteemed, gifted colleagues, and I'm gonna treasure the experience for the rest of my life. It's been the best experience of my life. The people that we made it with are so special and lovely. I love these people so much. This crew is so special. I've been telling you for years that you are a builder. You need to build. I know I'm going to miss it, but I don't think I'll know how much I miss it until I get to the next one. We talk about one of the themes of the show being connection. What an incredible gift to feel so connected to so many people in such a vibrant way. We wanted to leave the stages with an official Roger oh. stage <laughs> and Camelot stage. And share this story with everyone and then also let it go and say goodbye to it. Let me start by asking a question.